The Captain America Civil War trailer showed us a lot of important things, including a beaten up war machine lying on the floor. But is he dead? Hey Mavlites, it's me again, the Rhino. Today this video will be divided into two parts, all about Captain America Civil War. The first part would be specifically what we saw near the end of the trailer, where we see War Machine lying flat on the floor, and it doesn't seem to be alive anymore. I'll be taking that really into depth. The next part will be about who else might die in the movie, so let's get started about War Machine. If we go back a few seconds earlier in the trailer, we see the Winter Soldier try to pull out Tony Stark's arc reactor, but we don't see the aftermath. So now it's clear that Bucky probably did this to Rhodey. Not positive though. Now, let's look at the background of the scene. In it, we see what seems to be the same scene where the battle takes place in at the airport. Most likely after someone blew it up. So by now, it is clear that War Machine's presumable death takes place after the airport battle. So, it is likely that Tony knows what Bucky's trying to do. And he's literally saying So my thought? Is Rhodey dead? My guess? Both. Well, I don't mean physically both dead and live, but there are a lot of facts regarding both of them. It's for you to decide in the comments, but I'll be pretty much debating myself. The facts I laid out include Rhodey just coming into the spotlight, but then they just kill him off. Doesn't sound that reasonable, but yet again, what happened to Quicksilver? He died in the same movie that he became an Avenger. Or did he? I'll talk about that in another video. My next reason is that this was shown in a trailer. Why would they spoil a major death in the first trailer? Well, I don't know. And a guess to how Rhodey lives? Well, obviously, the arc reactor was torn out, which clearly powers down the suit, which shuts down its weapons, flight, movability, and, you know, everything else. But his mask is also torn off. I don't believe Bucky did that. I believe that Tony himself did that in order to help him breathe. Or he did that to pay his respects. Or maybe he didn't take it out in time. Look at the way Rhodey is anyway. In the middle of a big hole, likely from an explosion. And his head is on Tony's knees while Tony is looking very sad and angry. We can even see Tony breathe, but War Machine, nothing. It's up to you to decide, but personally, I think he is dead. Remember to tell us what you think in the comments below. But wait! This is only the first bit, now for the second bit. Don't worry, Ryan. I'll take it from here. But- Ryan. Fine. Thank you. Hello, Marvelites. It is I, Mr. Sister, and I'm here to talk about who is going to die. And for that, we need to look at the trailer, the movies prior, the sources of inspiration, and all evidence shown. First off, I believe Agent Piggy Carter will pass away. Not to action, of course, but due to old age. Something that Captain America has to go through in the movie. An emotional touch. And there is a funeral scene where Cap is shown transporting the coffin. It's emotional. The second person I believe will die, or has died, is T'Chaka. The father of T'Challa. The Black Panther. I believe this will be shown in a flashback at the start. Or told to us by T'Challa. My main point is, I believe T'Chaka is one of those people who were assassinated by the Winter Soldier. There are several pieces of evidence here. Let's look at the trailer. Black Panther is shown in three scenes. The first was an introduction shot to freak out all the Marvelites. <laughs> to show Black Panther killing or hunting the Winter Soldier. There is this scene where Black Panther kicks Bucky in the face. And this one where he's chasing Bucky down a freeway and somehow outrunning a super soldier. We'll discuss that in a future video. But there must be a reason for this. Why is Black Panther targeting Bucky only? Yes, that's right, Bucky killed T'Chaka, which also explains why Black Panther is shown on Iron Man's side in this concept art. But in the comics, what entirely paused the big battle was the death of Goliath, killed by Ragnarok, the clone of Thor. Which leads me to believe that someone on Cap's team will die, and Rhodey is Team Iron, which is still possible. I mean, the airport fight has to end somehow. I mean, it's not like Rhodey will die to stop the battle, I mean, <laughs> please. But as far as I know, that seems to be the case. Another possibility is crossbones. Why not continue the Marvel tradition of killing the villain? No, 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 not him. I'm on his side, so that means I'm a villain. No, I'm not. Shut up. But crossbones isn't the main villain of the film. 
and he isn't a villain which needs to be killed, he can be arrested. But let's cross our fingers that Baron Zemo will live. Please, he is such a great villain. I want him to be the next Loki. Please. But then we also have Sharon Carter. Which is interesting, actually. For those who are aware of the comics, Sharon Carter killed Captain America. Let me explain. In the aftermath of Civil War, Captain America is taken into S.H.I.E.L.D. custody, where he is assassinated per order of Red Skull. Crossbones snipes him, while Sharon Carter, who has been brainwashed by Dr. Faustus, delivers the killing blow in Captain America's stomach. But that is quite unlikely, but it may happen. Well, I've been here too long, so I'm going to give this back to my friend Ryan. Don't forget to leave in the comments who you think will die in Civil War. It may be the one you least expect. Remember how he thought Hawkeye was going to die, and then he didn't? He didn't see that coming. What a twist. Well, that's everything. I gotta wrap it up. It's been pretty long, I think. If you want to watch the last video on this channel, click the video that says last video. This is about the wasp being in the quantum realm. Or click the video that says recommended on it, and it'll take you to our Civil War trailer, frame by frame breakdown. If you're on one of those awesome touchscreen devices, there should be some cards popping up around right now. And it would be great if you could subscribe, because what you get out of it is more of our content. And if you liked the video, leave a like on the video, especially if you liked the video. Because then we know that you know that we know you liked the video. Remember to go down to the comments and write about if you think War Machine is dead or alive. Or who else you think will die, or if you disagree with anyone. See ya! Oh wait, the guess who? Don't worry Ryan, I'll handle this. Last week, no one was able to guess whatever this thing is, but I'm about to tell you what this thing is. It consists of Magneto's helmet, Cyclops' head, Iron Patriot's body, Falcon arms and wings, the Infinity Gauntlet for the left hand, and X-23 legs and feet. But this week, however, you may be able to guess this... thing. Um, I'm, I really can't give anything more than just saying a thing, but it's called the Guess Who. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.